387 million people worldwide have diabetes, and here in the UK, the NHS spends £1.5 million per hour treating diabetes. That's 10% of the whole NHS budget. One of the biggest costs of diabetes is through the need to treat organ damage caused by high blood sugar. Around half of those with diabetes will develop nerve damage, known as diabetic neuropathy, where patients develop pain or a loss of feeling down in the extremities of the hands and the feet. As well as agonising pain and persistent pins and needles, diabetic neuropathy can contribute to poor sleep, increase the likelihood of depression and sometimes even result in a damaged limb needing to be amputated. Neuropathy is poorly understood and we are baffled by how some areas of the nervous system seem to be affected more than others. A person with diabetes will have a high blood sugar throughout the body, so why are only some parts of some nerves affected? My research looks at how nerves make their energy. Nerves require an incredible amount of energy to fire electrical messages back and forth from the brain. This energy is generated by structures called mitochondria, which are located throughout the nerve. We think that energy metabolism is ineffective in diabetes because of faulty mitochondria. We have measured thousands of different molecules from different nerves, both healthy and diabetic, and have been able to see which energy pathways are changing in different parts of the nervous system. We studied the sciatic nerve, one of the longest nerves in the body that gets damaged in diabetes, and found that there are differences in how different parts of the nerve respond. Although both the top and bottom sections of the nerve showed extremely high sugar levels in diabetes, only the most severely affected bottom parts showed impairments in energy metabolism. In short, different parts of the nerves control their energy in different ways, and as a result, some parts are more susceptible to damage than others. As we have thousands of molecules measured, we now hope to work out which ones are key drivers to this damage in the hope that we can design new treatments for this devastating condition. My name is Ollie Freeman and I'm a postdoc at the University of Manchester.